City play their last Premier League game for 11 days in the knowledge that a victory would take them up to second in the table, just a point behind the early pace setters, Liverpool. They face a Crystal Palace team who, though winless in their last five Premier League games, have regularly proven complicated opponents here at the Etihad Stadium. Diaz decides to move forward, plays it out wide to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, right on this near side, plays it in the field to Carl Walker. Walker it across towards Alvarez, and that's a brilliant save by Henderson. Alvarez with a little sort of stooping, little glancing header, almost into the corner of the net, and Henderson makes a terrific save. And he can't do any more for me, Alvarez. He can't do any more. He's on target, it's in the corner. What a save! City keep coming at them, here's Grealish, inside the middle third, just about on the edge of the final third, lays it off to Diaz, Diaz plays it out wide to Bernardo Silva, Mitchell comes to engage him, on it goes to Lewis, Lewis across the face of the goal, Rodri, oh, it took a deflection and went inches by the post, I'm not sure where he knew too much about that, but it hit him and span away, it could easily have gone in, it span by the post. Great run from Rico Lewis, then you're just gambling, and a great, great block. Grealish now, goes backwards to Diaz, Diaz, plenty of room in front of Diaz, plays it across to Foden, Foden into the gap, Grealish 1-0, it was a matter of patience, a lovely slip ball through, and Grealish who scored against Luton, scored against Spurs, has now scored against Crystal Palace, and unless VAR say there was an offside in the build-up, City lead 1-0. That's going to be dotted lines I'm afraid. That is dotted line time, I'm afraid. We might have a very tight call here. They've still not drawn the line. They've still not drawn the line, so I can't tell you if it's on or off. They've still not drawn any of the lines that they have to put out to determine. It's a green line, it is a goal. City lead 1-0, confirmation. It's 1-0 to the Blues. The green line came across, not the red one, and that means it's a City goal. Great appreciation from Phil Foden, just in a little half space again. Always seems at the moment that Phil Foden is that person who can pick the lock. Yeah, it's great play. Jack Grealish has now scored in three successive Premier League games and now Vardiol through the middle well of all players Vardiol was suddenly one-on-one -on -one as if he was Erling Haaland and he went in hit the shot but it was straight at Henderson that was just a, a through ball over the top of all players Vardiol was down the middle and he just battered it at Henderson and it was too close to the goalkeeper who made an important save trying to beyond Mitchell, he plays it to Walker, Walker goes back to Bernardo again, Bernardo getting towards the edge of the penalty area, scoops in across, it's a high one, headed away by, uh, as far as Cardiol, who hits it low and took a deflection and goes out for a corner, might have been Henderson that helped it round the post. Yeah, it's thrown into the box, it's that second phase, so do put it in there, this is brilliant. I'm not sure who's got the save on it, but across his body and then we believe he's left footed and it's a tremendous master. Well, yeah, it's a good save. So it's a free kick, it's nowhere near shooting range because of the angle that it is and the distance that it is. Diaz and Rodri and Vardion and Ake and now the ball comes in, it's headed away fairly easily. Vardion will keep it in city possession. Lays it off to Foden. Foden hits in a shot. Oh, it ripples the outside of the netting. Wow, he hit that with tremendous power. Henderson hurled himself at it, couldn't get close, but fortunately for Palace, it brushed the outside of the net. City lead by a goal to nil. Palace have nothing so far in an attacking set, but they're not here to attack. They're here to keep in this game for as long as possible and maybe pick a goal from the set piece. And now there's a chance for a break, and it's a ball forward. Edison comes and makes a sliding tackle, and he's got yellow carded. Well, he came sliding out. He was kind of the last man, but there was a covering defender behind him. Palace are saying, is that not a red card offence against Edison? But I think there was probably a couple of City players behind him. It's a foul on Mateta, just outside the penalty area, and Ed Edison's been booked for it. 
Well, this is the Palace game plan in a nutshell. Hang in there, stay in touch, do what you can, and then try and nick something maybe from the set piece. Well, they have the opportunity right now. And say comes up, hits it, Edison. Can be on the net and out for a goal kick. The Palace fans at the opposite end thought it was in. I don't know how close this is, but it looked a wonderful effort. It's a dominating possession, as they did in the first half. We have it with Ruben Diaz, about uh, midway inside the Palace mile. No one comes to engage with him, so he goes backwards to Ake, on it goes to Grealish. Grealish wide on the left, but not as far wide as Cardio, but it goes in the field to Ake. Ake to Grealish, Grealish now gets towards the area, he's fouled by Omitsa, crossing position free kick, about uh, 30 metres from goal, crossing free kick, plenty forward to try and get on the end of the delivery, Alvarez drives it in, and it's gone all the way in, one of those free kicks that you put into an area, you hope someone's going to get a touch, nobody did, and he went straight into the back of the net, offside, let's have a look, Alvarez drives it in, there's no question of offside, he is offside, I can see it. Yeah, they're going to have to give it, it was Rodri, yeah, they're going to have to give it, because Rodri had just darted in too soon to try and get a flick on, and I think they'll have to give that, yeah, they have. Rodri was interfering. On it goes to Walker, staying at 1-0 here, disallowed goal, Alvarez's direct free kick went straight in. Rodri, though, is in an offside position in front of Henderson, and because he was in the view of the goalkeeper, I'm afraid it does count as offside. Now, Grealish comes forward, on it goes towards Foden, and then almost reaches Lewis, and it does! And Rico Lewis turns it in! It's his first ever Premier League goal! He has scored in the Champions League, he's now scored in the Premier League, and what a week for the academy! Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Jack just drives inside, receives the ball, goes out wide here for Mackey. And then he drops his shoulder, it goes, goes fast. There's obviously an element of good fortune. It hits a player, drops in there. Terrific finish, and City have a clear advantage. The ball is with Grealish, Grealish inside to Ake. Ake on to Foden, Foden took it beautifully on the half turn. He breaks for Bernardo Silva, first time shot! Great save, Henderson. Really terrific bending shot from Bernardo Silva. Henderson made the save and then well, he just walloped to the floor and he's hurting. That's a brilliant sign. They've got it with Mateta at the moment, Crystal Palace, and it goes to Riedervald and then Ozo. It's played forward into the gap and the flag has stayed down and there's a chance here, through on goal potentially, and they've turned it into the back of the net through Mateta, and there you go. Do you know what, the way the game's gone, that just can't happen, Ali. I'm afraid that cannot happen. Um, they just got squared, Diaz and Kyle Walker got themselves in the bad position. We were wondering how Crystal Palace were going to find a way back into this game, having offered nothing in the second half. They've just showed you how they're going to do it. Now, here's Guardiola. Guardiola plays it inside to Lewis. Lewis helps it out to the right side to Bernardo Silva. City into the penalty area. Bernardo Silva hits a bending shot and it's carried away by Henderson. Had a good game today, Dean Henderson. His first Premier League appearance since January because of injury. Now Foden, can he scamper away? Foden, he's lost the ball. Dangerous part of the pitch to lose it. Now Palace have got it, scooped into the gap, and there's a chance here. Matthias Franca in the area. Ball comes across to the far side, and it's headed away by Walker with Mateta waiting. Goodness me, danger there for the Blues. Bernardo Silva now in the right-back position, loses it to Mateta, no foul, says the referee. City win it back, and then they go down, and the referee's given a penalty to Crystal Palace. Can you believe it? A penalty to Crystal Palace. Let's have a look, the ball comes in, Mateta tries to win it off Foden, and Foden... Olise to make it 2-2, a game that you would never in a million years have predicted the outcome of. Elise up against Edison. And he's tucked it in. You just cannot believe it. Three matches in a row at the Etihad Stadium. City have led and Spurs Liverpool and now Crystal Palace have got an equaliser.
and Paul Tierney blows the whistle and the final score is City 2, Crystal Palace 2.